order. 30 and the agenda here was I do with that Do we have any adjustments to the agenda? Um, I was going to move under select board items lister resignation and new appointment behind allocation reduction request because I thought Jonathan was going to be representing this item but if we need him we can call him. Do we, do we need him to? No. Okay. So we really don't need to make an adjustment. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Um, so approval of minutes from April 11th. Yeah, I'll move to approve the minutes from April 11th. I second that. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of April 11th as presented. And uh, we will be endorsed by the clerk. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, public comment on items not on the agenda. And then select board items. First on our list is allocation reduction request at number one Bellows Falls Road. And that would be the old fire station. Okay. Okay. And um, Nick is here. Are you are you the new owner or the owner? Yeah. Yep. How long you did you buy it from SLK from yeah. those guys? You yeah. did. So you've had it for a couple of years. A couple of years. Three years. Three years. Yeah. I don't know. Uh huh. Okay. Good. I'm Josh. Laura. Laura. See. Karen. Good. Sounds like you've already been. <laughs> <laughs> so currently Nick has seven. Allocation seven units. Mm -hmm. um, he's got five apartments and two commercial spaces in the building. Okay, that's what it's zoned at right now. Yeah. Um, so he took one of the commercial spaces and converted it into storage where the pizza place was. Mm -hmm. So, my understanding, too, mm -hmm. Nick, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, all of the plumbing, you know, the pipes for water, sewer have been removed from that. Space, correct? correct. Yeah. And Tom Goddard did um, permit that, mm -hmm. and I have it on file. Permit it as storage or as the pizzeria? Um, renovation of existing interior business space to individual storage oh, units. Okay. So technically, it's still a commercial space, correct. but it's without water sewer. Water use, okay. So what Nick is um, proposing he would like a allocation reduction for that space. So right now he's at seven. And are you metered or not? He has one meter in that whole building. For the whole so you're you're not separate meters for each of right. units. No. Right. Yeah. Um, so seven units for sewer metered rate is one thirty one thirty two. He times that by seven. And for the last Billing cycle, it was $919.24. Um, for the water bond, seven units again at $53.83 is um, at $376.81. And then for the water usage, which you consume about 246 at 40 cents. Adds another ninety eight dollars and forty cents. So, um, so what he's looking to do is reduce it by one. Which is what the total. So it would be five residential and one commercial, or Correct. One, one commercial that uses water. Right. right. I don't. I don't remember us ever having a space that was commercial but didn't have water but that it's just it's just right. a new one to me so yeah. but it makes sense i mean if it's storage mm -hmm. units i don't know yeah. why you should have any idea for that so uh, so do we have maybe it's right in front of me do we have do we need an application for that karen for reduction or how or or just um I'm not aware of that, and I do believe the last time we ran across this um, 
it would have been for 132 Main Street. 132 Main Street, which was? Which is the, the pizza place across the street. Oh, right mm -hmm. across. Okay. And we <coughs> did reduce that. For Neil. Yeah. So. And I think, uh, I think what we did when we wrote a letter. I just, we should have some written documentation of mm -hmm. it. Um, so however you want right. to handle that. Yeah. Um, I guess my only question, Nick, is um, in the future, if you decide that you want to put an apartment in there? Yeah. I'd have to come back here and get that anyway because... You would have to because it'd be a change of right. use and then the allocation right. would change anyway. Again. Right. Right. But it's not, you know, he's already got the connection, etc. Right. So it's not, yep. it doesn't really affect... Right. Wouldn't affect anything on the... Right. He would have to come to his, through zoning. Right. to do a change of use for the yeah. commercial to I think in order for me to put another apartment in there, I'd have to go come in front of you guys again anyway to get permission and have more units because we had to do that mm -hmm. to get the five. Five, right. Four yeah. was the max, yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so. so I'm hoping something works there and I don't have to come back. So. Right. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, I guess if we, it seems to me that we've had, when we've made changes in the past, we've had paper documentation of that, but I'm not sure what the, what the right form for that would be, and maybe we don't have one um, for that, because right. if, it's an in, if it's an application for new use or increased use, mm -hmm. we have one. We do. Um, so we should probably have some variation of that for just change of allocation. Um, I mean, I'm happy to go ahead and allow it and change the billing at this point based on that. But you know, perhaps next meeting we could have something more formal. A form. Yeah, because this is just to connect. <clears throat> yeah. So it's a request for allocation. Um, so new discharge, change in discharge, and renewal. Yeah. Well, maybe that's it then, if it's a change. It could be, where we just reduce this. I think that might be what we've done in the mm -hmm. past. I don't know. I, don't, I can't move forward at the moment. But. Didn't at Bert's house, did we reduce that? We've reduced several of them yeah. over the years. Um, I and I think that I, I, you know, must be just a change. Or, or if you feel, Karen, there should be a different form, mm -hmm. that would be fine. Okay, okay. let me look. This, uh, you know, tomorrow. I know one that was reduced. Yeah, I mean, there are, there are several that have been reduced over the years. Mm -hmm. so. But I don't recall several. signing one for the pizza place across the street. I was in that meeting. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think it's something we necessarily sign, but it's just right. so that you have a documentation yep. update, yep. et cetera. So, okay. um, so whatever that form wants to look like would be fine. I, you know, it might also you well, change. I don't know whether we. Allocation. I don't know whether we have anything in the water. I just had a last year I didn't see any ordinance <coughs> that specifically that one read. I need something to add in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Particularly for a commercial property. Yeah. yeah. That's, and just so we have documentation of it to the connection resolutions. You know, that's all, this is all new and Discontinuance of service. Uh, so, if somebody would like to move to allow a reduction from seven ERUs to six ERUs, right? Yep. At uh, number one, Bellows Falls Road. Yep, so moved. I second that. Been moved and seconded to allow a 
change in ERU allocation from 76 at one Falls Falls Road. There's no further discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 All set. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Anything else I need to do? No. Okay. You both fell set. Do you already have that storage unit full? Not quite. Okay. <laughs> what, <laughs> how big are they? How, what, what, how did you break it up? I mean, what are the... There's nine total units in there. So uh -huh. one's, I think, five by five, and the biggest one's like 128 square feet. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an awkward little room, but... It took, it's <laughs> a strange shape to try yeah. and chop up. Yeah. Did the best we could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only one cricket wall in each unit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably as good as you could. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Hopefully it works out. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. If I need anything, I'll contact Perfect. you. Okay. All right. Thank All right. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. All right. Next, animal advisory board appointments. We're out of order now, but it's okay. Oh, why? Um, what do you mean? She yes. <clears throat> she told me she was going to change it, so I moved the end. I moved the list. It's okay. Yes. Oh, I don't have that on mine. Oh no! I in the in the pack stack of paper. I have it. Oh, in it's not oh, in oh, you're just trying to throw Sorry. this off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the water and sewer um, ordinances that I gave you. If you don't need them again, I'll take them back. Thank you. They are online. But I like the paper. They got um, by it. Yeah. <laughs> My eyes as much. It's been a while since I've looked it over, but I don't, I don't think too much has changed yeah. since 2007 on that. Okay, Animal Advisory Board. We have three people interested. Awesome. There's a lot of talk out there on the streets. It's, uh, <laughs> the Animal Advisory Board is it's very active right now. Right. So I think it's great that people are stepping up and want to volunteer. Yeah. So Honey Loring, Bill Grant, who is the um, dog obedience trainer, uh -huh. and Kathy Rounds all expressed interest and in they would like to be on the board. And uh, Janet caught up with me the other day mm -hmm. and she's pretty clear that I can't remember, I don't think it was one of these folks, but I'd be surprised if Honey wasn't involved. Um, when, the, when the ordinance was reviewed and updated in 2011, and I had forgotten that we had, I mean, I, I knew that because I saw the date on it, right. but I'd forgotten that we had made any significant changes, and I'm not sure we, but it was, it was all brought up to date at that point, so apparently some people are of the opinion that the ordinance really doesn't need any changing. I think one thing that might need changing is amount that is county levels. Um, and I don't know whether there's other stuff or not. But. Um, I met with Abby and Janet this week, mm -hmm. and um, there is some language that they're changing in mm -hmm. certain areas. Mm -hmm. So it has more teeth to it. Yeah. And um, of course, we're going to have to run it by um, legal counsel anyway. Right. But um, they're going through it line by line. Perfect. So, and I think adding more people takes the stress off of the yeah. other two. Yeah. And it, you know, gives more input too. Excellent. So, I think the final one is going to be a really good board. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Did they meet last night? Um, no. It's Tuesday morning at 8 Yes. Oh, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I recommend all three be appointed. So all right. So moved. Yeah. Yeah. Second. Sure. I second that. It's been moved and seconded to appoint Honey Warren, Bill Grant, and Kathy Rounds to the Animal Advisory Board. Uh, if there is. No further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank I mean, you. Anyone with an email of dog crazy? I know, right? <laughs> she's been doing dogs for a long time. You know, you know, hey, don't she? yeah. you? She's certainly been in and out several times, but yeah, she's yeah. been doing dog stuff for a long time. Her email kind of indicates. Yeah. <laughs> she used to run dog camps up at puppy school, and I think she still does some variation on that somewhere else, but. 
yeah. for years. It's a huge oh, that's, thing at, that's in right. the summertime up at the yeah, She has a lot of experience. She does, tremendous that's, um, experience. She's more proactive about the owners. Yeah. Good. You know? Yeah. So I think it's a good addition. All right. Next on the list, draft social media and website policy. So. I threw it together. Um, I put it under select board items. I had, I had it under other business. Mm -hmm. I don't expect any action on this. Yeah. In very little discussion, only because I want you to review it. Yeah. Come back. Mm -hmm. Just a little history. This is VLCP boilerplate. Mm -hmm. I looked at Brattleboro, Town of Milton, and Wyndham, Vermont. And um, they're pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. There's a few areas, um, you know, it's either it wasn't in there or so I basically kept it boilerplate. Mm -hmm. um, we will have to tweak this yeah. to Putney mm -hmm. in what we're looking to gain from this policy. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Some of it may not apply. Right. We can take yeah, that, it out. But yeah, although some of it, yeah. some of it that doesn't apply may be just as well left in because it may apply later at some point. That's uh, right. Mm -hmm. You know. Sort of. So, like I said, there's a lot in here. Yeah. But um, I think we should take the time to read it through, mm -hmm. mark it up, talk about it, and it will have to go to a public hearing. You know, for the public, mm -hmm. and I'll have, I'll run it by Larry too eventually. But mm -hmm. but right now it's draft. It's just a start. And this is the VLCT one. So in the sense, it's already been vetted. It's been yes. vetted by them. Yes. Certainly. Yep. Okay. Um, this one too um, has a website policy, which I thought was great because it coincides with the social media policy as well. So they kind of complement <clears throat> each other. Yeah, that's um, honest. When Laura and I went to the um, workshop, the mm -hmm. town officers workshop there, like I said, the one thing I got out of all my classes was policies and procedures. Yes, definitely. We need to have them. Because yep. we have nothing to fall back on if something happens. Right. So. No, and that's the same, I mean, you know, Minimal, but you know, same with the idea of the water changes, a job right. documentation document. You know, it's yeah. like if somebody comes along and says, Well, wait a minute, how come I'm paying this one? I should have been paying that. We can say, right. oh, Here's the piece of paper that mm -hmm. says yeah. that change was made, and then we don't have to go sifting through minutes, right. etc. Yeah, and try and find track that stuff down. So, it's also uh, great for future slack boards, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Just to institutional to knowledge at their yeah. fingertips, yeah, which we have. A lot of it. Accessing it is not always <laughs> just, you know, sort of filing in where where it is and how it's stated and so on and so forth is not always easy to bend down. But um, yeah. So, well, I did read through this, and most I have very few things that I would take any mm -hmm. like I would even want to talk about. So I think it's. Pretty good. It covers, Pretty clear. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's a lot of legalese in it, but it really does cover every base. You know, so that's mm -hmm. good. Which is what yeah. it should do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, and then, and then, you know, ultimately, when we've played with it a little bit, have mm -hmm. Larry, have Larry about it, and I will, and then go from there. Yeah. So I, in two weeks, yeah. bring it back, and we can discuss it. Sounds good. Great. All right. Yep. Thank you for all the work. And we do have, it was I, it was brought to my attention that Cynthia had had a Facebook page for yeah. the town, and I, I knew that I had just sort of forgotten the nature of it, but she really used it only as, or tried to use it only as a vehicle to mm -hmm. post times and dates and things like that. And I think one of the reasons she gave it up is because it started to 
people wanted to be able to respond and interact with it, and she just couldn't mm -hmm. sort of make that happen. Mm -hmm. So, um, Tom, the fire department has a Facebook page, and uh -huh. he said he's going to do away with that. Yeah. Because it's not current, and he doesn't have the time to right. manage it. Yeah. So. And it probably exposes him to some mm -hmm. potential issues that he, if you're not managing it, that's that's where I think you. Right. One can get in trouble if you're not staying ahead of it. Right. I, you know, I don't know. But uh, uh, I, I hope that um, in the future, if there's somebody in the fire department that wants to take that on, that he would be open to that because it is a really great tool for getting emergency things out there. And yeah. you know, there are people that don't ever check out a website, that don't ever open their email. They right. go entirely through yeah. social media. And yeah. Yes. Yeah. I. Want to be able to reach them too, yeah. no, but I, know, I, I understand the concerns. It's a balance. You know? Yeah, the exactly. does a lot, and if he could find one person, yeah, one volunteer that would take that on, and be well, and helpful. It, you know, for you, know, you still have to kind of manage it. It has to be somebody that, that's interested. Right. Exactly, yeah, right. and, so. and, and you know that's that's in in many ways likely to be a younger person. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, yeah. going forward, right? That you know, as it becomes more and more the norm than it already is for yeah. all ages, then that yeah, no, I can't imagine why he wouldn't be willing to do that if he didn't. Mm -hmm. If he didn't have to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I can but, understand why he doesn't want to though. Yeah. It's not something that interests you. It's just another It's a lot sure. of work. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, all right. Sounds good. So we'll revisit that. Lister resignation and new appointment. Okay, so you have Jonathan Johnson's resignation letter as a lister as he's doing the town clerk position. Um, so, effective today. And in his replacement, we have an appointment for Eileen Chu. Chu. Mm -hmm. And um, Jordy has spoken to Mrs. Chu, mm -hmm. and um, she is willing to work in the office, and he also thinks she's a very good candidate. Sure. So. Well, there's certainly both community oriented people. So. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. She'll be good at it. Yeah. She's also a lovely person. She <laughs> seems to be. Yeah. Yes. That's helpful. Yeah. And she would start Monday, I believe. Fantastic. So and she would have to take the oath of office, which Jonathan, Jonathan can do that. Yeah. Um, and do we have appropriate amount budgeted for training because with two new people not for training yeah. Josh but for fiscal July 1st we do as of fiscal July yes. 1st we do for yeah. training yeah because they shoot up quite a bit yeah last year their training right. budget is gone right now yeah but the bottom line it sort of reopens the bottom line is they'll have money because of their right. salaries right and only have them like Two people in there, and there will be some extra yes. in there. So I just think you know somebody coming in. I don't know whether Karen has already done this, but somebody coming in should certainly right. be allowed and have available to them whatever sort of at least the most introductory training to start with, and then, right. and then go from there. So yeah, I think we can get them some training, especially if there's classes coming up. Yeah, because some of those classes are only once a year. Exactly. That's, so the timing right. is important. Yeah, and it's often, you know, some of them have probably already been missed. Right. But there may be others coming because it's usually yeah. centered around town meeting days. So. Yeah, Jordy's uh -huh. at four, four days of workshops this month. Uh -huh. And the month before, he was doing workshops as well with a deadline uh -huh. to get all the inspections in yeah. before April 1st. So he's doing a lot of training right now. There's a lot of resources too that yeah. you can get help over the phone. Yeah. So in learning NEMREC, you know, you can do that in house. A lot of, yeah, yeah. But, but that's not good so much right. to familiarize with that. Yeah. Sounds good. Well as long as you know, as long as we can find that one somewhere, whether it's in, you know 
salary line item or whatever. Well, right now, if you find the line somewhere, yes. <laughs> like come we'll June, it might be a little harder. Yeah. But um, we're doing, yeah, we're okay right now. Sounds good. All right. So I guess we need a recommendation or yeah, so motion. I'll move, yeah, I'll move to uh, appoint Eileen Chute for Minister's office. I right, second that. And moved and seconded to appoint Eileen Chu for position of Lister in the vacancy created by the resignation of John Johnson. If there's no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And we also Aye. would just like to recognize Jonathan's contribution to the Lister's office over the last almost three years, I think. And thank him for that yeah. time. And Accept his resignation. He's the longest standing employee in this town hall um, right now. Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's on record. <laughs> yeah. All right, now you are. Well, not really. Jonathan is, so. Oh, because he is. Still yes. Yeah, that's true. Yep. he's still with us. So. Right, exactly. Yeah. I guess in that particular position. That's right. All right, so now it's all yours. All right. Uh, moving along. Yeah. Let me see if I can find this stuff. Um, so, the bridge, Old Stage Road, is now repaired. So, Brian and the crew um, were out there Monday, Tuesday. The, the reformer really needed. Front page space, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Right? Front page filler. It's like, oh, this is exciting. <laughs> I try to avoid that kind of stuff, Josh. <laughs> but I just was surprised at how prominent a spot it took. Yeah. Um, they were very it's proactive. So um, exactly. Went out there and they tore up the old deck and went wow. uh, down. It's open. Yes. And do you know, I was, I was surprised, I, I've probably heard this before, but I was surprised that the decking only lasts roughly five years. Do you know what the material is that Brian uses for decking? Now, you read that from the paper? Yes. Yeah, that's not, those were not my words, that, okay? See, that seemed like high turnover for decking, yeah. but. My comment was, the deck was replaced in 2013. Right. It was slated to be replaced because there was a soft spot on the travel lane. And somehow the paper got it that we do it every five years. Not what I said. Replace a soft yeah. spot as it as right. necessary. Um, do you know what material he uses? I don't. Because if we if we are replacing it anywhere near that often, we might want to think about yeah. what material because I would, you know. White oak or locust would I'd be amazed if they wouldn't last longer than that. Right. But. I believe it's a hardwood. Um, he gets it from a local person, Carl. Yeah, Carl Moses. Yeah. 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 But, um, and Brian might have told me. And what? Perhaps? He said it's very green right now. So he, he had a hard time, you know, they struggled with it. And it's heavy. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. that green. Mm -hmm. But, um, I wonder whether it's hot uh, But he did, you know, I mean, when it rains, it's weathered, you know, right. and it pools up, and that's where you get your soft spots. But unfortunately, there's not much you can do about that. Yeah. Well, I'll, so we'll when, see I, when I run into him sometime, I'll check yep. him. Because yep. if, if we are to, depending on what we're doing, because there's not that I would not want to purchase lumber from Carl, but there's right. somebody else who does a fairly significant business in Locust mm -hmm. locally. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and I don't know whether Carl does that or not, but Locust, at least for the travel lanes, Locust might be mm -hmm. the, the best choice. Yeah. I mean, if we're using white oak, that's pretty comparable, but Locust will last longer, definitely. Yeah. But, um, you know, that soft spot may not have been as large as, right. you know, that yeah. picture yeah. shows it to be, you know. Well, it was after the, yes. after the truck went through. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it was soft, 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 soft yeah. small soft spot suddenly yeah. turns large, yeah. 
Is that a tunnel trap? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, and it was full, wasn't it? It was. It was fully so, so, loaded. So, so when, it, when it went through, uh, he yeah. had to get the tractor to get all the sand out. Mm. Then they lifted it up with the loader and they drove it to the other side. <clears throat> Any damage to the truck? No, no damage to the truck and the driver was fine. Which is good, I mean, because, you know, that dump truck right there is, you know, a $160,000 piece of equipment. Too bad to tear the axle off. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so, but there's no damage and uh, the bridge is fixed. Good. So, yeah. And everybody in Wyndham County knows about it. So <laughs> and that was a week, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. That happened that Monday in the storm, and a week later it was repaired and yeah. reopened. Yeah. So good. they did a good job. They even got sunburned out there. <laughs> wow. That one of those days. <laughs> Just goes to show how unexposed to the sun they must have been for the last number of months. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Tom and I met with Glenn Herring with Vermont Department of Public Safety. They rolled out the new um, Vermont Alert, which is um, an emergency um, notification system that people can get either email or text messages or phone calls when there's um, you know weather conditions or you know somebody's missing or anything. So we are going to, um, it's very good resource for the town. Mm -hmm. So this particular bridge problem, we could have gone on and said, you know, this bridge is closed, you know, reopen. And it, it alert anybody that's registered for Vermont Alert. Excellent. So, so know, if we have any kind of flooding in town or yeah. anything, we can alert the whole town right. through text. If there's like, you know. A fire and you can't get through. You mm -hmm. got to take alternate route. Mm -hmm. Very good resource. Yeah. So and a lot of people, um, like the nine one one addresses. You know, mm -hmm. people are. I forget how many people they said was signed up. Fourteen hundred, I think. Just in Putney, you know, and that's commercial and residential. Mm -hmm. So people do use Vermont Alert. Mm -hmm. So we met with them. We are going to um, pursue that. Is there a cost to no. the town involved? No. no. no it's, it's, just, a, it's just a state system. Yeah, free resource. Sure. And, uh, it's just creating the groups. Mm -hmm. And uh, it takes a little time to set it up. Yeah, but other sure. than that, it's... It, it really works, though. Yes, it does. Yes. It's a great resource. Yeah. Do you have it, Laura? Um, I have a story about it, but I'll tell you after the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as, it, out of curiosity, so they, they localize. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those, but yeah. can you also, are there a, like higher tiered emergencies that everyone would get? You know, a queer event or yeah. something like that. Yeah, a yeah. event or... Yeah. You know, bridge out to I'm sure. Rockingham, maybe or something like that. Yeah, because we can um, notify the state, and they can do like a you know all broadcasts, you know, with one little click, mm -hmm. you know, where we would have to, because we have to go on a map and like uh, we can pinpoint, and then we do a radius. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So, okay. Yeah. That makes yeah. Sense. Okay. In a state, we can just send one message to them, and they just it goes right yeah. out. Yeah. But you don't. It doesn't necessarily. It can cover people that just happen to be in Putney too, right? Like yeah. if they're just visiting the area. Yes. Um, anybody traveling through, okay. and they, yeah. it pings off the cell tower. Exactly. Towers. I think it's based yeah. on yeah. the cell yeah. tower yeah. location. Uh, I'll yeah. tell my story real quick. Yeah. I went to the women's march in Montpelier, okay. and they had to shut the city down because we overcrowded it. Yeah. And they sent out one of those Vermont alerts to all the cell phones. So thousands and thousands and thousands of cell all phones at <laughs> all at once. Like, it was the strangest experience I've ever had in my life. And it was surreal. I mean, it was like nothing I've ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's how they did it. Was doing yeah. the Vermont alert. Mm -hmm. you know, it really works. Cool. Yeah, it does. 
Um, so the Animal Advisory Board we already touched on. Um, right now they're working on the animal ordinance and description of the responsibilities for the animal control officer. Mm -hmm. So they're defining that role. Um, I would like to put out the mowing bid for the public buildings. Mm -hmm. Either late this well, Friday, no later than Friday, but by next week. So we can uh, Karen and I talked about this yesterday, but the the um, Cemetery Commission already did their contract um, with Eric. Mm -hmm. Three um, so, years. So it doesn't allow us to but go go a bit with that, which is what we've done in the past. But mm -hmm. I think that's partly a function of the fact that we have a cemetery commission that's functioning a little more proactively. Um, mm -hmm. And over the last several years, it's been a little complicated. In we had at least two different people doing different cemeteries, and then over time, we were trying to figure out how to sort of combine that. So it was a little bit more streamlined, and uh, we were able to do that through Eric doing combining town stuff and cemetery stuff. But. Uh, Cemetery Commission went ahead and did a contract on their own. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully they did well for themselves by it, and um, hopefully we'll do okay. I, I mean, Eric's you know, right. He's a good guy in local business, and mm -hmm. well, I, good. I talked to Betsy today because they had a meeting, mm -hmm. and um, she said in three years revisit revisit together. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you know competition. There's a lot of People that mow now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I, as I told you, we put it out to bid before, right. and um, it was clear. You know, Eric. Eric got. The, I think we've done. Eric's done it probably three years yes. running now. Mm -hmm. And um, when we put it out to bid, yeah. it's been Eric's been the choice, both based on reputation and on price. But you know, we had we had a couple of prices that were sort of all over the place so mm -hmm. a couple of things and, yeah. um, and not much. Well, the, the main reason we sort of streamlined it a few years ago was because we instated a policy that anybody who worked for the town needed to have workers' compensation policy. Um, mm -hmm. And so Eric was one of the ones that had that. Um, so anybody who does town work needs that. I like local myself, but sometimes it's nice to get three prices and... Absolutely. Yeah. No, and that's what, yeah. I mean, we put it out to bids through the, whatever that system is that you can put it out, yeah. and we've got bids from, you know, a handful of people mm -hmm. within 20 miles kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that workers' comp issue makes it a little more complicated because particularly, even though, you know, Vermont's very, it's, challenging in a sole proprietor um, is not required by the state of Vermont as far as I understand and this is not <laughs> not stating the law right, right. but is not required to carry workers comp so for somebody who's a sole proprietor that doesn't have employees or um, that it's a family business where it can be a you know father son husband wife whatever it is mm -hmm. they're not required to carry workers comp because it's all in the family so that complicates our ability to have local people do it because we have right. a policy requiring workers' comp. So it's just it's a little bit of a balance, but yeah, and you bring that up because we just had our workers' comp audit yesterday. So when somebody doesn't have that, they have to also sign a non-employee agreement, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and it makes it difficult. And that agreement too is like if. We hired a cleaner, they didn't have the insurance, but it's also something that one of us could do here. You know, they would expect that we would do it, but if we hired somebody, they would have to have the workers comp and do the non-employee agreement. Mm -hmm. And or and it's I mean, difficult yeah, when you're no. one person business. Exactly. They do not want to sign that agreement. Or a family mm -hmm. business. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And then what happens, Laura, is that we end up picking up that insurance. Exactly. Because yeah. that if when yeah. we get our audit, right. if we pay some if we pay somebody 
then they're mm -hmm. basically shown as an employee mm -hmm. of the yes. town and yes. our workers' comp gets tagged on. Mm -hmm. So yeah. which, you know, for somebody doing something like house cleaning, that's typically not a huge number. Right. If it's somebody doing excavating or tree work or something mm -hmm. else, it yeah. can add yes. up yeah. very quickly to yeah. a large number. So. And when we pay a vendor, we have to have a certificate of insurance showing right. that they have liability workers' comp. Otherwise, we're not supposed to be paying them. But um, the workers' comp audit, we did well. Good. Good. Um, it looks like we are going to get a small refund. So, um, you know, I asked for a number, but she's going to do the numbers up. So, but well, we should be seeing a small refund. Maybe that can help train the listers. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, you know, it could be. Rob two, Peter two so. So, Yeah, she didn't stay here long, which was good. That yeah. Everything That's was in order. Yeah. She had very few questions. Good. So, good. did well. Good. Um, Wilson's Wetlands, I took a little tour with Ann Carey. I think it was last week. Um, so, she gave me some history. Um, so, so, yeah. I'm working with Anna a little bit to understand the importance. They're going to pursue a couple options, but it's it's just for, not for beavers. You mean? Yeah. yeah. To they bring one in, or well, I don't know if it's that easy oh. to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it may not. Be. I don't. We're not even sure that yeah. <laughs> we're not sure there's a beaver down there. So there's some things that yeah. they have to do. Yeah. Monitor for a little while. Yeah. And then see what happens mm -hmm. but um you know i understand where she's coming from it's just so sad i mean visually yeah. it's so sad to see every day well the one thing concerns. the one thing i noticed there's not a whole lot of trees down there mm -hmm. and you know beaver that's what they what need they live on. Yeah. yeah so no and it may actually i you know i don't know whether this plays part of the natural cycle but you know it may be that the beavers move out while the mm -hmm. saplings grow in and then they come back because right. it's mm -hmm. better eating. You know, yes. I, I, yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. um, you know, the nature of that wetland area is that, at least in my memory, it's done that mm -hmm. quite a few cycles over the years. And, yeah. You know, for various different reasons. So, um, have you ever seen it stay this low this long? Well, it used to be. I don't know whether. I, I mean, in my memory, and this is this was a long time ago. But it, Brad Fellows, who owned the property where um, Hidden Springs is, mm -hmm. he used to graze his cows out there. Oh no way! Yeah, no, that used to all be a field. the 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 stream was had been basically cut okay. through. It was you know I I don't know the actual longer term history, but. Um, you know, the stream had been at one point very well defined, and it was actually there was some hay field out there and some grazing pasture as well on that portion. So um, he had a few dairy cows, and that was that might have been I mean, that was a long time ago. I mean, when I was a young kid, that's I remember it being more farm like out there. But mm -hmm. comes and goes, yeah. and that's sort of the nature of beavers too. At least right. in my experience, mm -hmm. is. You know, they come, they go, <laughs> yeah. do what they're going to do. But um, and I think it's still even without, you know, the wetland. The the unfortunate aspect of the wetland is, as you said, it's sad to see, and it certainly yes. affects the animal populations yeah. there. But I think, as far as at least to a reasonable degree, its value to the town of being a buffer from flooding. Mm -hmm remains pretty constant yeah. even without the beaver dam just because it's a large flat area so right. it's an area for water to rise yeah what about um the the effect of filtration towards our water towards our drinking water do you have any um, i do you know how deep that well is i don't know how deep because that, that would well depend is. on how deep the well yeah. is it's mm -hmm. not it's not as deep as one might think i wouldn't think mm -hmm. it would be because uh, there's a there's a very strong aquifer right there, um, and th th there's also some debate as to how much that water from Sackett's Brook actually fills that aquifer, or whether it's sort of its own. And I don't I I don't know whether we know that clearly or not. Um, but I think uh, you know probably 
a change in depth of roughly two feet, which is what it has been, probably doesn't affect it that much as far as overall. But its ability to filter, I don't, I don't mm. know. Um, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. No, and it's very knowledgeable about yeah. that area, certainly. Yeah. And she's very knowledgeable about yeah. those systems. The other person who, you know, if you had specific questions, Lionel, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, he definitely mm -hmm. sort of has a, a broader understanding of that stuff as well. So, right. But. So we shall see. Mm -hmm. I'm actually thinking regarding filtration, too, there's a lot of play there. So well, I think that's not very well. exactly. I think that's part of what it is: is that there's an understanding that there's it's it's fairly isolated. But I, you know, again, it's I it's sort of hearsay mm -hmm. from my. Um, but, uh, mm -hmm. Got more. more? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, so. three warrants. Okay, I'll move. To approve and execute the warrants as presented. Okay. Second. Second. Sorry. What <laughs> <laughs> was the warrants where I kind of zoomed yeah. off on it? <laughs> <laughs> um, we all have our spots. <laughs> Whatever you're spending money on. Yeah. <laughs> so, Deb, payroll warrant April 20th for $10,355.39. And it includes the library. So it's been moved and seconded to approve and execute the warrants as presented, unless we find any glowing <laughs> surprises in there. There's yeah. none that I'm aware of. Well, that's good. Just we, to we let would you hope know. that's what, what it Yeah, I've been looking at this stuff, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> <laughs> good. I'm glad. <laughs> If you weren't, I'd wonder what you were doing then no, about the... No, <laughs> Deb and I are like... Um, that's good. Uh, uh, so if there is no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Who's this Willis Stern this guy? Keep showing uh, guy's going to keep, <laughs> keep after us forever. Has he, he was here a couple of weeks. You, he, he just comes in on, for consulting. Yeah, he was yeah. here on a Monday. Yeah. Um, yeah. We try not to have him come here, yeah. But once in a while, we'll make a phone call to him. But we've been tr we've been really good about utilizing other resources mm -hmm. and each other. Mm -hmm. So we're getting there. I think Leah found his help quite useful this time around. Mm -hmm. He spent some time with her. Yes. Good. Yeah. No, I certainly don't. Yeah. I mean, we have we have money to spend mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. him and I you know he certainly is a good resource for us so mm -hmm. I don't know. No he definitely made his rounds because Jonathan had stuff, Jordy had questions mm -hmm. so I'm like Chip just go see everyone because yeah. mm -hmm. and help them out. No and I, I mean the advantage of him is that he doesn't have the institutional knowledge for this institution so much but he has a, a bigger picture of yeah. institutional He's, knowledge yeah. that's helpful and applicable to what we're yes. doing. So yep. that's a good thing. Okay, payroll warrant dated April 27th, $8,594.15. Um, in this warrant, you'll have the on call firefighters along with. Um, this office, not the library. But that last one included the library. Mm -hmm. The on-call firefighters are yeah. once a month, except for like Brian, Lenny, who are on the fire department, and Tyler. And then it just goes into their regular paycheck. Is that how we do that? Or yeah, no? it goes through. Um, yeah, it, yeah. It. it's at a different rate. Yeah. Hey, Ryan. Mm -hmm. So Ryan's brothers, he must be. 
you know, all stuff. Ryan Squires. Uh, Struthers. 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 Struthers, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. I come from the Squires family, too. So. Must be like off grade now? Well, I don't. My husband does, but he's a senior, yeah? Yeah. And Matt Bristol, that's for rec week stuff, presumably. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Matt and Megan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that Billy? That's kind of the last one? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. He, he too. Oh. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize he was still. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do that. See, based on it, it not being a big number, that I don't think he does it really much yet. Yeah. Yeah, some of the guys I noticed had um, quite a few hours, mm -hmm. and then there's some that are really part time. Mm -hmm. And I think there's some, and Billy may be an example of this too. Sort of would, if, if it's taking in from something, mm -hmm. then it would be more likely to submit. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to work that mm -hmm. stuff out. But. Okay, accounts payable warrant. Dated 420 through 427, in the amount of $72,219.08. Um, you will see invoices for Renault Brothers, which is gravel, $36,606. Um, there were several invoices that were held. Oh, man. Yes, that's yeah, why that's it's so large. Time yeah. yeah. Um, so invoices that were held, they didn't submit them to us. No, we had them, of, and uh, then the process is the road foreman Brian would he signs off on his invoices. Mm -hmm. Then they go to the bookkeeper to process. Mm -hmm. um, so for whatever reason, they were in a folder, and um, we're no contacted Brian and said, hey, you know, What's going you, you have some invoices that are outstanding. Yeah. So we tracked them down in the... Uh, Somewhere in the transition, mm -hmm. yeah. So... To be expected, but... But they're all accounted for now. And Brian knows where he's at with his budget. But which he, is? He was the one, which is... Okay. Um, he's over by a little bit, but okay. we also had High Low Biddy, mm -hmm. Tavern Hill, where right. we're going to um, submit for reimbursement yeah. through the grant. Yeah. So it should bring that budget back in line. Yeah. Oh, I certainly, in my neighborhood anyway, Mud season was pretty friendly to us. So yes. I'm sure that helps. Yeah. Your road was a little rough though, I thought. Which Tavern Hill? Yeah, just it going just after the bridge going up. Just just yeah. recently it is. No, yeah. and they just did some work the other day. Oh, okay. okay. They made that when they were going there. But, um, um, next week they're gonna be out with a grader. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. I think they're sort of waiting now. Yeah, they just yeah. did they just added some gravel on the bottom part on the flat part of Tavern Hill and then okay. I think where they were Required, but. So J King's Electric. This is the generator at the uh, at the highway department, or yeah, it's the, the other. It's the last payment. Is it? Yeah, we had to do a deposit on both. Yeah. So um, that is the last payment on Brian's generator. And is that? Are those both installed? Um, there. Yes. Well, they're there. Not yet. Fully what, connected. Yeah, they're not fully connected yet. Wow. It's kind of off season right now for heat, but yeah, well. I know. Which is okay with me. <laughs> That's what we thought the two Fridays ago when we had a Four inch slush storm. I know. Well, <laughs> yesterday it was gorgeous. Yes. There was a 
was much more competition to walk to the post office yesterday than it was today. Yeah. No, I'm going. Yeah. 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 I noticed about 10.30 that nobody jumped on it today. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's a little curly out there. Mm. But it, it, it's surprising with those couple clear days and the wind that we had, how quickly things yeah, dried out. The yeah. 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 Is Epinephrine an something we're supplying the fire department with? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's good. I have saved my kids' life once. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have a particularly long shelf life, so um, it has so, to be upgraded. I know. I'm <laughs> unfortunately yeah. far more familiar than I want to be with like it. To be. Yeah. <laughs> um, Although there is speculation that the shelf life is not necessarily as uh, yes, no. Mm -hmm. right. Does that have does that have the same cost increase as the EpiPens did? Um, if you get the generic, it's about half the price, and the generic is exactly this. I mean, it looks yeah. exactly the same. Right. It's the same exact pen, and different all, sticker. Yeah, made, sure. it, made it the same. It's the same company. Yeah, yeah, it's all the same. It's exact. It's just. It's been, the, but the app, it's all been creeping out, just mm -hmm. increasing in. Yeah. So, and it. So, and somebody can get away with it. Right. <laughs> what I've always wondered if, just like a lot of, you know, USDA has said too, with a lot of foods, I mean, mm -hmm. the shelf life is more of a ploy to yeah. get you to throw it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, not that I want to test this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's what the doctors have told us, and I just can't. Like, we've had yeah, to every yeah, time yeah. because I'm not going to yeah. take that risk. What do you think? Should we use it anyway? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We we're almost we're, we're just finishing with that. Okay, other business? I don't have any. I have a few things, just a few announcements. I don't know if anyone's interested, but. Can I actually, one question for Sure. Is there any idea of when, um, where things are at with the pool as far as lifeguards? Is, uh, we were just talking about that, right, Deb? <laughs> <laughs> well, I met with Beverly. Okay. Um, we're going to change the locks up there. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to paint the floor with some, like, it's kind of an abrasive, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Great. Yeah. Yes. So it's not slippery. Yeah. Um, I already talked to Brian about the slide. Yeah. So they are going to try to fix that, but they're not sure that it can be repaired. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at that. Um, it's fiberglass, is that right? Yes. Yeah. But it's the... Um, the nuts and bolts or something, if they gotta like torch it off, they can't. Because okay. it's fiberglass, you know? Okay. So they're gonna try to fix it. But we'll see what happens. I actually know somebody that did. Uh, I'll talk to Brian about it. Yeah. yeah. But um, I wanna meet with Beverly again and Deb and um, Katie, because I spoke to Katie about swim lessons and how that all works. But I want Deb to be involved in that because I kind of like she's going to be doing all the registrations and mm -hmm. collecting the money. Because I know that. So in lessons. Sign this before the pool opens, John, but on June 11th, I believe it is, mm -hmm. and, uh, the eighth graders are wondering if they can have a graduation party there. <clears throat> Of course, it's dependent upon whether it's up and running and right. whether there's any lifeguards available. Um, but I just wanted to put that. Yeah, out. and I know like um, the pool opens after school closes. Mm -hmm. Right. So this would be a week before that. Then. Yeah. Right. Historically, yeah. they've done so it might work, Steve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The eighth grade and the the rest of the school, have, the elementary grades have usually gotten to do like a last day to write that thing. Yeah, well this would be so a week earlier. Yeah. yeah. The eighth grade thing, yeah. So it would be the 11th and the 19th would be, 11th would be graduation, 19th would be the last day. For the week. Yeah, for the graduation area, right. last day got pushed back. Okay. Let me, uh, I'll have that conversation with Beverly too. Mm -hmm. Because we would have to make sure there's lifeguards. Lifeguards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And she deals with all lifeguards. Right. Yeah. So. 
Great. All right. Yeah. So yeah, it's on the front burner, the pool. So I Yeah. Um, I said, what is all this pool stuff? Somebody needs to tell me what I need to do. <laughs> Don't Pools. worry, you're going to find out. <laughs> there's a lot, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of work For a the short pool. period of time. That, yeah, yeah, it's an <laughs> yeah. important community resource. Right, uh, right. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Um, it's highly utilized. No, and it's, yeah. you know, particularly, you know, there were a few years where management of it was not as good as it needed to be and then Beverly getting involved and some changes yep. says, you know, it's really, Come she, does, yes. she does a good job. Yep. Them, so. That's good. Yeah. Wyndham County Humane Society uh, Wags to Riches is Sunday, May 20th, 1.30 to 2.30, School for International Training. If anyone is interested, here you go. Um, Can you say that date again? Uh, Monday or Sunday, May 20th. Thank you. Yeah. 1130. <laughs> what, what is the training for? Lunch auction. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's a, a fundraiser. fundraiser. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. Live music by Hip Funk Associates. Hmm. So, um, we have a contract with them, Wyndham mm -hmm. yeah. County Humane Society. Mm -hmm. So, it's an organization. Yeah. yeah. And it helps them. So if you're interested, mm -hmm. there you are. Landmark College graduation is, where is it? May 19th, 2 o'clock. So, I'm not sure if that actually was sent to me. Okay. But feel free if you want to. Rufus I don't know how large the um, Landmark College yeah, graduation yeah, is. <laughs> Do they bring a lot of people in around graduation? Um, Typically? I don't know how big the class is. It's got to be. Come on. I, I don't know, actually. I, 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 I doubt it's quite that big, but I would guess it's yeah. over 100 on an mm -hmm. average year, but I'm yeah. not sure. That should bring in a lot of people. Yeah. 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 Um, HCRS sent a thank you note for their um, appropriation of $3,416. That's addressed to the select board. Southeastern Vermont Watershed Alliance also is thanking the town of Putney for their support, for, for our support of them. I think it's like $650 yeah, right. yeah. each year. And that helps them as well for testing like sockets brought in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So they appreciate that. Is this where they they get residents to go out and regularly um, mm -hmm. take water samples? Yes. There's a whole yep. team mm -hmm. that sort of yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know how they work it out. But. I know last spring they were looking for volunteers and a little out of my schedule. All right. No other business. All right. Uh, so we would like to have an executive session. Yes. I'll move to go to executive session at 634. Uh, <coughs> Regarding Title One GSA Section Three One Three Three, the appointment or employment or evaluation of a public officer or employee, provided that the public body shall make a final decision to hire or appoint a public official or employee in an open meeting, and shall explain the reasons for its final decision during the open meeting. 
Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to enter executive session at uh, 6.35. Um, Who are and, you inviting? Uh, we'll invite Karen to stay and uh, yeah, I think just Karen for, and then um, are we likely to take any action as a result of this tonight or would it be? You could. Okay. Uh, so you, we can either notify you of any action we take or um, you can stay in the moment. I, I don't think this will be a particularly long session and so on. So. No. So we have executive ex exited executive session at uh, almost an hour later, which is more than we thought it was going to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seven thirty-two, and uh, we are not going to take any actions as a result of our executive session. So, thank you. Move to and adjourn. move to adjourn. Yes. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Thanks.